All right, hey guys, back at you here today. Uh, I wanna walk you guys through how notifications in iOS work uh, in terms of uh, notification center, which is communication between objects. So the big question that I often get and the big question that a lot of developers get when they uh, start learning iOS is how do you communicate between view controllers actions? How do you pass information or notify objects? And in iOS, there's, there's really, a couple different ways. Uh, the main way, there's delegation, which would be, you know, you create a delegate and a protocol and you adhere an object to that protocol and then you pass information via the delegate, which is a pseudo instance in a, in a sense. Um, second way is to use a global class called Notification Center, which we're gonna be talking about today, that basically is a class that's defined by Apple that basically lets you register uh, almost predefined messages and template messages uh, to send to objects. Um, so this is notification center is a method of communication between objects uh, or controllers or instances in iOS. Uh, another way would be using segways. You know, if I press a button in this view controller, I want to, when I'm segueing and transferring to a new view controller, also send over this information to that view controller. So that's basically like pre-extantiating a controller with content. So um, that maybe we'll go over in another video, but in terms of the high level advanced way of communicating, it's really done through notifications uh, and notification center. Uh, there's another method, which is KVO, which is key value observing. There's several ways. This is one of the ways. Um, and this is a way that Apple actually uses in a lot of its APIs. And, uh, that a lot of, uh, I would say, larger scale applications uh, use to communicate when you have a lot of objects uh, in space. So this is gonna be a simple example. So today, I'm gonna make this a pretty quick video. I've already coded some of it out, uh, but essentially it's all programmatic. There's uh, no storyboard being referenced or used. Uh, I went into our app delegate here and I uh, just basically set the window to the bounds made it visible, created a tab bar controller, which I'll show you in a second over here, and set that as the root. So when this app launches, it's going to launch up to the tab bar controller. I'll start running it now. Uh, our tab bar controller is pretty simple. I'm trying to keep everything very simple here. We have a delegate, which we don't really even use or need. This is just saying that I switch to the view controller when I select each. I have each instance of each controller, which is view controller one and view controller two. I basically put them into the uh, view controllers uh, for this tab bars array, which sets the view controllers in the tab bar, like so at the bottom, view controller one, view controller two. Uh, view controller one is simple, it's just a blue screen, what you're seeing here. View controller two is a switch and a red background. So we wanna basically, de the demo here today is really, we wanna basically make something happen in view controller one when we change this switch. So right now nothing's happening. You'll see if I click the switch on and off. Um, and how do we do that? Um, how does this instance of view controller one know what happened in view controller two? So the classic example is if you're in settings and you change a setting, this is kind of how I derived this example. If I do this, how does this controller know or how does the rest of my app know that something has changed. Let's say I turned off notifications or I did something, you know, I you know, changed my language. Well, how does the rest of the app know? Well, it knows there's something called a, 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 basically a local broadcast station, which is a notification center. Um, so think of it as like a radio tower. That's the way I always think of it as. And you post notifications where you, you, you broadcast them out and other objects can pick up on them if they're tuned to the correct channel. So how are we gonna do this? Okay, well, notifications uh, work by registering notifications to the notification center manager. And um, this is a free class you get, I believe it's embedded in foundation or UI kit. Uh, anyway, um, how are we going to do this? Okay, so let's look at view controller two. First thing we need to do is probably define some sort of action uh, on this switch. So let's say SS, which would be um, a switch that I have, uh, we're basically creating this switch, let me show you here in this closure, which basically just kind of lets us almost like lazily instantiate it. It is not a lazily uh, instantiated variable, but it's it's just completed and created in this closure, which is simple. We're gonna say SS add 
targets, which would be just like if this was a button, we'd be adding the same self we're going to add in here because we want to inflict the action from ourselves. And we'll drop in a pound selector here, which will be, um, we'll just call this handle switch state change like so. And this, this will be a function. Uh, and for control event, we're going to use value changed. Um, but it's like that. Yeah. What is it not like here? Ah, it doesn't like that I don't have the method created. So to satisfy this error, let's just drop this method in down here. And that error will go away. Okay, so now we have something hooked up. So we, we can take some sort of action once this switch is pressed. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, what we want to do is define a notification um, that essentially is going to uh, is going to be broadcasted out. Um, and so the uh, the way that we're going to do that is we want whatever object we want to be tuned. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Value change like that. Uh, whatever object we want something to happen on, which would be in this case, this first view controller, we need to register a notification for our system to post from here. So uh, if that doesn't make sense, let me show you what that means. We're going to go back into view controller one and we need to uh, basically register a notification. So I'm just going to create a function called as register. You could just do this in the view to load if you want notifications, but let's say you have, you know, 10 notifications and you need to register all of them because you have multiple things happening from different objects. Uh, you might want to do it in a handy, you know, function like this. So uh, what we're going to use is notification center, which this is remember the broadcast notification uh, observer that is with Apple. And we want to use default. Uh, default is the singleton instance of it. And it uh, ensures that we don't have multiple instances of notification center running. And uh, we want to add in this case, um, we want to uh, we want to add an observer so that this instance or this object, this view controller, can pick up on it. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this one because we don't need to define it in some sort of operational queue. It's very simple, and uh, our observer is going to be ourselves because we want to have the action taken on us, um, and we need a selector here. Okay, well, this is basically saying, what do we want to happen? And I'll just call this handle state change as well. Um, notification. What do we want to happen uh, when this is observed, when this notification is observed? The next is we need a notification name. Okay. Notification name is it's it's pretty simple. It's basically a uh, it's a string value, and we'll create one here. Let's call it make it static. Let uh, we'll make it k uh, switch state change notification like this, and we'll just set it equal to a stringified version of this. This is just so that the notification center. Um, this is how it actually keeps track of them is through these um, these stringified instances. So uh, what we'll do is we need to add that in here. And so we can just come in here. And because it's, uh, it is uh, static, we can just come in here and just say view controller one dot K uh, switch state change notification like that. And it's going to want uh, an object. We don't need to pass one in because we don't need to pass in any other object or have it enact on any other object. So let's see, what is it complaining? Ah, we need to implement this handle state change notification on function. So we need a function here that is going to do something when this, when this is observed. Uh, for this instance, let's just take our background color for this simple example. And instead of it being blue, when this notification is observed, we'll change it to red. We will drop in our self dot register notifications here like that. So it adds this in when this view is loaded. So as soon as this view is loaded into memory and this view did load, it's going to register this notification. It's ready to listen. So it's basically on the channel. You can think of it as for the radio station. Okay. Let's go back into our view controller uh, two. Okay. And what do we need to do here? Well, we need to tell our notification center, Hey, we want this to happen. 
happen. So we're going to use notification center default, same singleton. We're going to post the notification this time. And uh, we can pass in more information if we wanted to, like, you know, let's say we had several different values that are um, uh, attributed, or we wanted to pass in an object, we wanted to pass in um, anything we wanted, really. Uh, it's, we can pass in a, a dictionary with user info. We're not gonna do that for this example, we're just gonna basically post the notification uh, with an object. And so for this case, what we'll, uh, what we'll do here is it's saying, okay, great. We're gonna post a notification, but what's the notification that we wanna post in this instance when the switch is changed? Remember, because this function handle switch state switch change is from our switch. If we had 15 switches here, this would be a different name because we have different notifications for each instance. Uh, so in this instance, we'll just put in our view controller one and our static K switch state notification change because that's the uh, the radio station, remember, we are, we're on and that we want to have something happen. And we're going to pass in nil for this value here. OK. OK, so if we go ahead and run this now, we should see when we change our switch, when we change our switch, this view turned blue. Let's see. And so I'll, I'll put the switch on, and the value is observed in real time, you can see that. So now both of these are red. Now, if I come back here and I turn it off, do you notice how nothing, it doesn't go back to blue? That's because this state, we now, for example, if we wanted it to be, you know, a different state for it to be off, we might, for example, have another notification that would be, you know, switch state on, switch state off, and then we'd associate those switch states, for example, in this case, with uh, the notification center, and then have different functions that are uh, handling those changes here. So I hope this helps clarify a little bit more of um, what the notification center is, what it does, what notification uh, center observers do, and how to post notifications. If you guys have questions about this, if you have questions about notifications, or if you want to learn other types like delegates, which we can do, we can do uh, basically singleton instances, we can do segues, anything you guys want, go ahead and leave a comment or uh, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, and if uh, that's, I guess, it, have a great day.